Hi guys, welcome to our daily encounter. First of all, I'd like to wish everyone in the group a Merry Christmas. Uh, unfortunately, our reading today isn't very merry, but it is very useful for uh, our spiritual life. Uh, it does have a lot of judgment in it. In Zephaniah, you have judgment being pronounced on pretty much everywhere, everyone in the area, both in Judah and the surrounding regions. In Revelation, we have the seven bowls of wrath and Armageddon and a lot of judgment in that particular chapter as well. Uh, but uh, a lot of the pouring out of the wrath of God. And as we reflect on Zephaniah, which was a book that was written probably sometime early on in Josiah, uh, Josiah's reign, probably before the reforms took place in Josiah's reign, um, it, it really is a, a, a book that uh, pronounced judgment against Judah and then these different nations. And as I was doing the reading, I began to reflect on what it would have been like had Judah listened and obeyed, to, obeyed the Lord, listened to the voice of the Lord. Imagine if the Israelites had gone into the promised land and they were God's covenantal people a nation of priests uh, coming in, living the holy life that God had given them uh, or instructed them to follow, had, you know, had God there dwelling with them in the temple, them uh, coming to him during the various feasts, uh, treating other people the way that God had uh, commanded them to treat one another. If they really kept God as their king instead of wanting a king like the rest of the nations, if they really followed the Lord and given him their whole heart, soul, mind, and strength, how would things have turned out differently? I wonder if that wouldn't have made a huge impact on the nations that surrounded them. That perhaps maybe the surrounding nations would have seen the goodness of God, the way that God was blessing them as they obeyed the Lord, and that the other nations perhaps would have taken notice of that, taken notice of that, and... Maybe turn to the Lord, maybe uh, given the Lord the reverence that was due to him. It might be that idols wouldn't have been as prevalent in that area uh, had they realized, hey, this these guys are serving a true God. Uh, they're obeying him, they're observing his commandments, and he's blessing them. We just don't know. We don't know what would have happened, but we can maybe at least uh, imagine that the other nations would have not been quite as corrupt and evil had Judah truly and Israel would have truly been alike to the nations and truly would have glorified God in the way that they dealt with one another and how they dealt with the other nations. And as we get into Zephaniah, we see that the other nations now are going to be brought under judgment. Uh, one for being enemies with God's people, but uh, they had their own sins, their their own idol worship that they were involved in. And now they were going to have judgment being passed on them. And Judah would have bore at least some of the responsibility for that. Everyone has their own choice to make, don't get me wrong. But uh, I just can't help but wonder what would have happened had Judah really fulfilled their, their mission that God had given them. And as we think about it in our own personal lives, we could think about it in those terms as well. You know, the way that we uh, interact with others and the way that we respond to God and His Word and His will does affect other people who are observing our lives. And the way that we live really does have an impact on how other people view the God that we serve. And what a shame it would be that other people would actually be turned away from the Lord and not be drawn to the Lord because we're not living up to the, the covenant that we have uh, embraced through Jesus Christ. Uh, it ought to be that we fulfill the mission that perhaps Judah had fallen short in, in being a light to the nations, being a light to the world, so that we can draw people to the Lord and that they can see the goodness of God, the grace of God, the mercy of God, the blessing of God, as we follow his commandments. And maybe then, maybe other people will not fall under judgment as the nations that surrounded Judah 
uh, fell under the judgment of God. So uh, these are some things to think about as we do our reading today. With that, I do thank you guys for watching the video today. Hope you guys have a great day. Love you guys. God bless.